All right, back with another build video. This one is a Spore Warden and Stabomancer build focused on critical hits and gun damage. The key concept of this build is to hit enemies with ability and status effects so they take increased damage while also buffing the amount we deal with critical hits. Before we get started, if you like the build, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and let's get started. First, in the Stabomancer tree, choose our ability from the shadows. In this action skill, you Go invisible and every single shot you take is a critical hit. It does have a slight critical hit damage debuff while you're in there, but it's not going to matter. For the actual skills, we have 5 out of 5 in arsenal, a flat 15% into melee, gun, and spell damage. We got 2 points into potent poison for a little extra status damage and chance. 5 into swift death, faster you move, more damage you deal. Exploit their weakness, we have 3 points into. Whenever you inflict a status effect, the enemy takes 6% more damage for each type of status that is on them. We have 1 point into elusive, which allows us to sprint and shoot at the same time. Then 2 points into contagion, which gives us a chance to spread status effects. Alright, over in the spore warden tree, we have a 5 out of 5 and eagle eye gives us gun damage and gun handling. We have 2 into bounty of the hunt for action skill cooldown. 5 points into bullseye. This one over here. <laughs> uh, gives us more gun and cr companion critical chances. We have a 5 out of 5 in affinity to increase ability damage while from the shadow doesn't get a buff from this our ricocheted bullets from the spore warden's capstone skill will one point into medicinal mushroom i just love this skill the com mushroom companion gains the ability to revive you three out of three in wind runner a kill skill that increases movement speed and fire rate three into wrath of nature when you inflict ability damage onto an enemy they take increased damage for 12 seconds and it's a 54% damage increase. Headhunter gives us 25% gun damage on critical hits when we actually hit them in the area, not just the rolled ones. And then finally we have play the angles, which when we get land critical hits, uh, there's a chance for the bullets to ricochet doing ability damage. Over on the gear side, I should preface by saying we're still really early in the life cycle of Wonderland, so this gear isn't optimal, but I'll let you know what to look out to optimize your gear even further than what I have here. For enchantments, you're going to be looking for things that increase movement speed, gun damage, or elemental chance. For the melee weapon, I have a peg leg. When you melee, you get a 30% movement speed buff and 40% reload speed for 10 seconds. If you're close by, just whack them with it, and then get back out and just keep running and gunning. For guns, I have a liquid cooling in my first slot. This absolutely shreds, especially since when you land a critical hit with this weapon, instead of heating up, it cools itself down. You can just absolutely melt people with this. It's, this is gonna be your main source of DPS. For backup weapon, I have a wizard's pipe. This is an SMG that will periodically shoot out an elemental orb that matches what is good against the enemy's health type which also means it'll help us stack more exploit your weakness. For the other two slots, pick something you like, it has a high fire rate since the objective of this build is to spread and ricochet as much as possible. For rings, go for things that give you gun damage or ability damage. For a class mod, look for a warped paradigm or an amalgam. The warped paradigm adds 50% of your ability damage to your guns and spells. And an Amalgam is just a solid class mod that gives 5 passive bonuses. For the shield, I'm rocking an Anvil and Hammer with an enchant that on break gives us 40% gun crit damage. The shield itself isn't as important as it's just the enchant on this one's really good. For the amulet, I have a Sacrificial Skeep for survivability. This spawns a Skeep that heals you when it's active and also works as a target to pick yourself up during a second wind. And finally, for the spell, I have an Arcane Bolt. This is absolutely shreds when you're in from the shadows as this lowers its cooldown when scoring a critical hit and since this one has three projectiles all of them will crit when in our action skill it cools down almost immediately and for the hero stats i dumped everything into strength dexterity and everything that was remaining i put it into attunement that's my overview oh, on this yes. build 
Now, let's get you some gameplay. Now that's more like it! while recording the video. Throw some spells! Before you can 